While the two of us were going nuts picking up games during the Steam summer sale, we stumbled upon this cute one about scuba diving and sushi. Immediately falling in love with the art style, we added it to our cart and installed it just as fast. We weren't disappointed. It's been a messy week for the two of us, but sometimes things look their worst just before the clouds are about to part. Although for Dave, every day is paradise, and that sounds nice to me. Oh my look at the god. Beach. This is like this more is relaxing great. than the real beach. So this week, we're inviting Dave the Diver to hang out with us on date night. Going into this, I thought it was just a game about diving. I had no idea we'd be running a business on the side. The game blends plenty of different genres and distributes your time between adventure and management. There's a little bit of everything for everyone, so you're bound to find something you like. It's like you and me. Oh my god, they got a heart! It is you! For me, I was sold as soon as I heard the music and we dove into the ocean for the first time. When we unlocked interior design for the restaurant, I only got more excited. Okay. Thank you, Anaconda, or what's his name? Cobra. <laughs> Look at how many amazing fish we took out. You wear a lot of different hats in this game. Waiting tables, excavating artifacts, running a food Instagram, and gun manufacturing, to name a few. I was told I'd be diving, so I don't know how we got put in charge of all this stuff. Even if I think we're underqualified, I have to admit, it's fun having so many different mechanics to engage with. The only struggle is staying on task because it's way too easy to get carried away. Probably should not kill more fish until... <gasps> Look at this shark, though. Okay, let me go see what this thing is, and then we know where we're coming. What is this? Is that an artifact? Yo. We always seem to go into a dive with a plan, and then immediately switch goals when we see something sparkly. Oh, it's a dolphin. It's a dolphin. Do not shoot the dolphin. That thing's huge. It's talking to us. That is a big dolphin. It's so cute. They'll send us down under with a simple request for rope, but it's all too common that we'll follow the distraction breadcrumb trail until we're out of oxygen and have to surface without anything to show for our dive. Who keeps catching my dolphin friends? I know! Pirates! Pirates? Mm. So how is what they're doing illegal, but what I'm doing isn't? It must be frustrating for them that we always come back with a case full of fish and none of the other stuff they asked for. Okay, beautiful. <gasps> I need to grab this chip. I got the chip. All it takes is a big fish swimming by, and then next thing you know, our main objective has been tossed out the window in favor of antagonizing the local wildlife. We were like saving dolphins, we're fighting sharks, just having a great time. You see, for him, it's all about catching the fish. As soon as we see a new kind, he's all about getting his hands on it. It doesn't matter how big or small, whether it's aggressive or friendly, he wants to catch it. Look at that! Is that a humphead ras? Yes! How did you know? I want him. The thing is, we aren't going after them with a net because we don't actually need them alive. It's a little intense watching him fire a spear gun at Dory from Finding Nemo. But the people pay well, so I guess Dory tastes pretty good. We're getting so much tang. <laughs> I should have known things weren't going to be all hunky-dory when they handed him a gun. Supposedly it's meant to be used in self-defense, but I've yet to see him do anything but antagonize fish with it. Look at this turn. That's crazy. I can't really hold it against him since we need meat anyways, but I still feel a little guilty. Like it's Get obviously very here. sad, but. It's also kind of funny. <laughs> all in all, even underwater, there's something oddly satisfying about shooting fish in a barrel. <laughs> That's so funny. You can just shoot a fish. Oh my Point God. Blank. I really want to enjoy the underwater world, but whenever I find myself appreciating something, it's always interrupted by all the fish murder. I get that people need to eat, but this is supposed to be a gorgeous vacation, right? It's really hard to get immersed and relax when the tropical music gets drowned out by the sound of him clubbing fish. There must be a better way to do this than just clubbing fish over the head with a baseball bat, right? <laughs> I'm sure there is. Fortunately for Dory, the big fish are way more fun to kill than the little ones. The only the problem is that the bigger the fish is, the heavier it is to carry home. I feel so fish. fast, but you know what it is? I'm not over in comfort. <laughs> There's a maximum carrying weight you can hold at a time, and so sometimes our eyes can be bigger than our stomachs. When you're over encumbered, not only do you move slower, but your oxygen runs out faster as well. How did we catch one over too heavy? I'm running out of air. I gotta go. There's a... 
Where is it? I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna oh, make it. God. Oh, you, I don't know what I what I should have there, said. There's a thing. There's I'm a trying, thing. but we're not gonna make it. We were so close. The game is over. Most of the time when we drowned, it was because we were carrying too much loot. Oxygen is functionally similar to a health bar, because any time you get hit, you lose some of it. We got an extra O2 tank. That's huge. Well, it allows us to be very reckless. <laughs> that makes fighting fish dangerous when you go deep because you might not have enough air to make it back up if they beat you up too badly. I see it as a hazard, but he sees it as a challenge. What, what the is hell? That? Do we have our gun? We're gonna unload on it. Oh, it hurts. Oh. It's smarter than us. I am so afraid. Oh I... <laughs> my god. Okay, so what just happened? I like totally just locked up. It wanted me to hit Q. Yeah. See. Oh, thank god. I think we got him. Oh my gosh, we did. Do we have any more oxygen? Uh, no, we're gonna bail. Okay, we're bailing, we're bailing. Holy, did you see that thing? Like, yeah. how am I not dead? Oh, that felt dead. like... <laughs> it like ripped me apart from the inside out. <laughs> <laughs> it wanted me to hit Q and my brain was like, what does Q stand for? <laughs> Everything is so beautiful and magical for the first few minutes of diving, but I get so stressed out when he's in the water. I'm gonna trank dart something. <gasps> What? No, oh, that's not what God. I was trying to trank. There we go. We put him to sleep. He just loves to push his luck with oxygen and dive deeper than our suit is capable of. You know what's bad when he has just enough air to make it back to the surface, and he decides to keep going deeper with the hope of finding an oxygen tank somewhere along the way. Running out of air. No, I have, I have one. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You are literally fighting a shark right now. The anxiety that it gives me when the edges of the screen start turning red and the counter dips into the single digits makes me want to not set foot anywhere near the water. But for him, it's just another day at the office. Yeah. That did something. Boy, we need, we have 17 minutes Yeah, I air. think if he hits me, so I run just out like of air. just straight to the down. Down, down, I see down. it, I see it, okay, I see cool. it. I'm just trying to finish what I started. This is his home, I think. Okay, we gotta go, Boo. I know you want to fight the shark, but I don't want to lose is, everything we caught. This is my fight to win. <sighs> we got him. Did you see that? Yeah. We I, got him. I told you, didn't I? We have seven seconds. I'm gonna make it, Taryn, okay? <sighs> okay. Okay. We're gonna make it. This is just like gasoline. Ooh, it takes time. The shark slayer? Oh. Am I the shark slayer or am I the shark slayer? <laughs> I told you I was gonna make it and I did. We're gonna be serving shark sushi tonight. It's all fun and games till we swim a little too close to the sun and end up floating belly up back to the surface. That was so lame. I got hit by a fish. Like I, I hit a fish instead of the shark. Cutting it close usually works in his favor, but eventually his luck runs out. <laughs> now it would be That the was time. the time. Oh my god, now I weigh too much though. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Let me keep my jellyfish. I'm sorry, bad joke. When you die, you only get to keep a single item that you found while diving. This is always a tough decision for us loot goblins, because we both like picking up everything in sight when we're down there. Needless to say, it's much easier to just not die, so I think we'd better get good instead. Oh god. Yeah, what what does this do? I don't know what this I don't is. Know. I think it's like a Yes! <laughs> I've done it, Taryn! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you 
That felt so good. The key to surviving longer is to make upgrades to the diving equipment. If it were up to him, the only thing we'd level up is our harpoon gun and the carrying case. I am always pushing for us to upgrade the O2 tank, but he seems to think he can just hold his breath instead. The dive suit is also important because it allows us to go much deeper, but I always get nervous the further we get from the surface. I've made a foolish mistake. Oh. Earning enough money for those upgrades happens at night in our restaurant. When it comes to running the restaurant, I kind of check out. He does a bunch of menuing and setting things up, and then I watch him wait all the tables. By doing a good job and getting them their food on time, we can earn some coin to upgrade. I think all these women are just here to all glot our sushi chef. I don't blame them. <laughs> I think our favorite part is definitely the drink pouring mini game. I swear he knows how to pour a glass all the way to the top without ever spilling over, and it totally translates to this game as well. Wait, that woman wants some, tea. Yeah, and you can get her some tea. You it's are like my favorite mini game. Expert tea pour. Look how perfect that is. Perfect then. The menu starts out simple enough, but when you start getting into adding different ingredients and learning new recipes, it surprised us with how much there was to it. It really sort of feels like a completely different game was glued onto the side of the diving one, and I'm all for it. Min-maxing the most expensive dishes and trying to serve as many customers as possible is what he's best at. Decorating the restaurant and hiring new employees is just a bonus for me. She cannot serve tea, that's on us. Perfect, good thing it's your favorite. Our sushi chef takes his job super seriously, and I love I love how into it he is. If you skip these, you're out of your mind. Look at him go! He is a badass! We're in charge of managing his social media account since he's hot garbage at it, but to be honest, we're not much better. He's easily our favorite character in the game, and I think I can speak for both of us that the game wouldn't be the same without his thumbs up after a successful dive. We've only known him for a day and a half, but if anything ever happened to him, we'd kill everyone in this restaurant, even if we can't decide how to pronounce his name. Bancho. You think it's Bancho or Boncho? Boncho. Boncho or Banco? Bingo. The social media account is how you upgrade your shop's rank. Not only can you read other people's posts about your sushi, but you can also drop them likes. Damn, she got a lot of likes. Are you seeing this? 30, 24, 13, 134. Ooh. We always get a kick out of the different NPCs' reactions to our food, and it's nice to hear what they think about it. I guess it's no surprise that it's more fun to doom scroll on an imaginary Instagram instead of the real one. Ooh, new photo. We gotta, we gotta drop our boy a like. There he is. Yeah! Aww. So proud. The most amazing thing about this game is that it keeps surprising you with stuff. The longer we played, the more mini games, mechanics, and quirky gameplay we uncovered. Yo, an underwater scooter. What? How do I use my underwater scooter? That's awesome. I thought I had everything figured out till I saw a giant squid capsize a boat in the middle of the bay. That was the moment we dropped all our other plans for this week and knew we had to dive head first into this game to see what else was hiding beneath the surface. This game is so fun. There's like so many little things to do. I'd love it. Like fighting sharks is at the top of my list. Look how much money we just made, Taryn. <laughs> Bye.